trust me, out of everyone here, I've lost more deals than all of you guys combined. And that's how come I don't lose deals anymore because I learn from every single one. I've lost so many deals. And then once you get all these little objections, these little scenarios figured out, then you stop losing those deals and your close rate becomes so good that it almost gets in your head. And uh, was it 2020? I think it was 2021 to 2022. There was this period when I went from, I think it was literally the first day of 2022 all the way until it was like, I think it was April, mid-April, 1st of April, four months. And I wasn't not doing deals. I was doing a lot of deals. I did not lose a deal for four months. It was like, if I'm getting, if I get you on a Zoom call, it was 100% close rate. I was like, I was getting even more confident than I currently am. I'm like, dude, I can't lose. And I finally lost the deal. And I knew what I did because I got a little lazy. I got a little, I got a little complacent and I lost the deal. So anyway, um, first and foremost, guys, if you're not taking swings, you're not going to get deals. So that's awesome that Porter's doing it. And sometimes, you know, I'm glad that you didn't get that deal because now I'm going to teach you something that, and everyone on this call, that's going to be gold. Okay. One thing I've learned is that if anyone has some kind of weird little thing like that, just, just agree and say, there's a way to make it work. If you think there might be, because there is a way to, to, I believe, make this work. And I've had people do this. This is what I usually say, because typically they'll drop it after the fact, you just need to get the deal. So um, here's what we're going to do. What was the lady's name? Uh, Mary. Okay, Mary, I'm going to be you or me, but I'm going to pretend to be what you were. And you're going to be Mary. You're going to give me that objection. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to get this deal. So uh, so yeah, Mary, like I told you, 1500 bucks a month, you get all the leads. It's a six month agreement, of course, after the six months, if it's not working for you, obviously, then you don't have to keep paying me. And if it's not working for me and I want to work somebody else, I, you know, whatever but the goal is, we want to do this long term and, and roll that into another year. And, and I don't want to work with you for 10 years, Mary. So anyway, like I said, 1500 bucks, let me just grab a card from you real quick and let's get this going. Are you an Amex or a Visa, Mary? Uh, By the way, I, we I'm... take MasterCard too. You can do that. So I'm a visa, but I do, I just have one problem. I, I just can't get over the fact that you um, are advertising for two different companies. When my company is Velocity Fencing and you are such and or, or Naples Fencing. I, I just can't, I can't get over the fact that you're, you're doing two. I just, I don't want to have to explain to people that I'm this and this. And I just don't want to have lawsuits or whatever. So that's like my only thing. Is there any way you could just change it so it says velocity instead of Naples? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, we that's that's easy. That's that's your only concern. Uh, yeah. That, I mean, that, that, everything else seems pretty yeah. good. Mary, you're sweating over nothing. So first and foremost, have you had a lawsuit in the past? Like just to make sure, it sounds like you're really leery about that. Have you had a lawsuit in the past, or is this just something you've got in your head? No, it's it's more just my own things. We we just try. We've been working so hard to like make up our brand, and I just it's hard to put work into two different types of advertising. Yeah. Okay. So there's no actual fear of a lawsuit. It's just something that's kind of in your head. You don't want. You're trying to prevent. Yeah. I mean, I'm just weary. Yeah. No. 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 You're totally fine. But like I said, this is no big deal. So a couple of things. I'm going to tell you this. I've been doing this a long time. I've done this in not just fencing. I've done this with concrete. I've done this with tr uh, tree service. I've done this with spray foam insulation. Any service you can mention around the house, I've probably done it. And we've never had that issue, just so you know. Now, that's not saying that it can't be some weird person, whatever. That's fine. Um, but, but nonetheless, I want to tell you this. After doing this this long, you are in a business, you are in an industry where for the most part, and I don't want to this to sound condescending whatsoever, but people are not paying attention to the brand like they do if you're buying a car. Okay. This, the, these individuals need fences done. I, I can tell you, I just did a fence uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, quite honestly, the only reason I know what company it was is because I knew the person. Okay. Outside of that, I have no idea. I got two or three bits. Can't even mention who it was. These are industries that people don't really pay that much attention to the brand. So that's number one. However, um, if you are worried, we could do something really simple. Uh, can you see my screen, Mary? Yeah, I can see What we can do, I'm going to show you, like I was showing you that, that example website, my concrete guy that I have in Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, we can do the same exact thing. But what I can actually do is I can do two things. At the bottom, I can take your license number and I can put at the bottom that I, we are partners. This is a, we could put something like this is a affiliate site of 
velocity fencing, right? At the very bottom with the license number to keep you out of hot water, if that's what you're worried about, okay? Which I think is overkill, but no big deal. And then the other thing that I can do, uh, Mary, is I can actually take your logo and I can stick your logo right here on the page, okay? And, and that's it. I mean, it's very, very simple. So they can see your logo. So yeah, we can do that. No problem. So Mary, uh, you said your visa, what is that number? Yeah, so 459. Oh, okay, now here's the, here's the porter's like, I didn't know you could do that. Of course you didn't. Okay, here's the deal. You're not going to put it in the domain, right? And if she tries to say it's in the domain, you're like, that makes zero sense. You already have a domain. You're going to confuse Google, right? You already have a velocity domain, whatever. Um, but what you can do, I wouldn't be putting velocity, you know, all over my content. And I wouldn't be putting velocity in the heading for sure, because I don't want to get any kind of like, you know, Google, whatever. But guys, if you take the logo, Okay, an image of the logo and you name it uh, Bentonville Concrete or let's say it was Bentonville Fencing, right? That's the name of it. Bentonville underscore fencing dot JPEG dot whatever dot JPEG. That's the name of the image, right? Google doesn't have eyes, right? Google's algorithms, Google's bots do not have eyes. They don't have bots that can look at that and go, oh, that says Bentonville, Con uh, Bentonville uh, Fencing as the 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 name of the image but it's actually uh you know velocity fencing they don't have eyes guys they, they only read text and so you can have a logo you just don't want to name the image velocity fencing that could and even then you probably would be okay but you don't want to do that so you can put the logo on the website here's the genius if she cancels down the road you take the logo off so yeah that's it it's no, that's so stupid easy, now that I and let me just tell you this. I lost a deal in, uh, not Arkansas, in um, Kearney, Nebraska, not doing this, doing alarms. <laughs> and a guy asked me a thermostat question. He said, hey, does a thermostat work with this, 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 whatever? Or I have three units instead of two. I was just going to work. And I did that. And I was like, well, and I didn't want to lie. And I was like, I, I'm pretty sure, but let me double check. In my hesitancy, even though I found out, yes, it could work after a couple hours from my guy, from my manager, by that time, I, I'd lost his confidence. I lost the energy. I lost the focus and I lost the deal. And I learned from then on that like, if there is something that the customer says, just say, yeah, we could do it. Now don't lie. If they're like, Hey, can you put velocityfencing.com? No, I can't do that because like that makes zero sense. But like something like that, just say, yes, you can figure it out. Here's the best part. 99% chance, maybe not 90, but 80% chance. Mary forgets about the logo. She probably would have never even asked again. And it's completely fine. Everyone's going to lose deals. But guys, that is actually a thing that you can do. No problem. I've said this a million, not a million times, maybe five times where I've had people ask that. I'm like, yeah, we just put your logo. No big deal. So it's, to be honest, it's not going to help you that much. And maybe we'll, let's wait until people start getting confused before we start jumping the gun. Um, but no problem. I have no problem putting your logo on the website. That's it. Well, lesson learned, dude. What lesson the heck? learned, dude. There you go. 1,500 times 12. That's an $18,000 mistake. But you know what? Could be worse. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> losing that deal again, dude. That's bull crap. How much, how much did you pitch it at? No, dude, so I didn't even get to that point because like oh, I, we I were see. stuck on this and I was like, I was like, I'm not going to just tell you the price because you're just so caught up. And I was just being such a hard ass where I was like, I just am not going to let up. I'm just going to be like, yeah. I, I was it. trying to use business owners as an example, and it, she was still coming back. And I was like, well, I could try to do this. And she yeah, just, dude, at the end of the call day. Her back, call her back and be like, hey, I thought about it. I really want to work with you guys. I have another company I'm talking to. Don't don't freaking simp this freaking, don't be a simp to Mary. But freaking go mm -hmm. up and say, hey, I thought about it. And I think we can make this actually work. Here's what I'm going to do. Can we jump back on the phone and go over pricing? See if you can save it. If you can't, you can't. Lesson learned, but you may be able to save it. Okay, I'll do that. Let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm.